cell wall and nucleus. In this video, we will see the structure and functioning of cell wall and nucleus. Both plant and animal cells have cell membrane. But plant cells have one more outer rigid cover called cell wall. Do you know with which material the cell wall is made up of? The plant cell wall is made up of cellulose. Cellulose gives strength to the plant cells. Sometimes plant cells undergo plasmolysis. Do you know what is plasmolysis? The water present in a living plant cell is lost through osmosis and then the contents of the cell shrink away from the cell wall. This phenomenon is known as plasmolysis. Nucleus Now let us look at the structure of nucleus. The nucleus is covered by a nuclear membrane. This nuclear membrane has two layers. The nuclear membrane also has pores. Materials enter and exit the nucleus through these pores. The nucleus has chromatin. Do you know how the chromatin looks like? It just looks like a tangled thread. But it changes into rod-like structures called chromosomes during cell division. Chromosomes contain DNA and protein. Let us look at an example to understand the functioning of chromosomes. Your phone has software to control its functioning. In the same way, every cell has DNA to control their functioning. Our phones have different apps to execute different tasks. In the same way, DNA has different genes to execute different tasks. Functional segments of DNA are called genes. Do all cells have a distinct nucleus? No. In certain single-celled organisms like bacteria, the nuclear membrane is absent. The nuclear region is undefined and contains only nucleic acids. Such type of nucleus is called nucleoid. The organisms whose cells lack a nuclear membrane are called prokaryotes. Pro means primitive or primary. Karyote means carrion. Then what are the cells with a clear nucleus called? Eukaryotic cells. Are there any other differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic organisms? In prokaryotes, beside the absence of nuclear membrane, the membrane-bound organelles are also absent. On the other hand, the eukaryotic cells have a nuclear membrane as well as membrane-enclosed organelles. So by this, we understand that prokaryotic organisms have poorly organized cell organelles compared to eukaryotic organisms.